Hi guys, this is my Skywatch 2 and welcome to my channel and I'm on the run here. I have one grandson watching TV upstairs. We've all been out in the pool and I've played and played and played and now Grammy needs some rest. And the other one is asleep on the couch watching TV with Papa. I got my cup of coffee. I got me a jewelry jar. This is an old one that I bought way back. And it was $69.99. And we're going to open it and see what I got. You may hear the TV in the background. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't wake the baby up because I had a, a creative um, little cartoonish cartoon on when I got her to sleep. And I have my stuff laid out here from showing earlier another piece but here let's go and I might have to cut off at any time so I'm going to go ahead and get started and the first thing I pull out is a bracelet that's very unusual this is some kind of acrylic Got a pretty yellow tone to it. That's an odd bracelet. Let's see what it looks like on. I guess you could wear it like that. Like that. Or like this. Any way you want to. And I got my trusty little vase to put my necklaces on. The next one is a braided black beads and silver tone. It's pretty cool. You've got textured silver tone here and then you're polished. It's a good size bangle. It's got lots of room, so a larger it's good for a larger wrist. This is the little kitties pink and it's very uh, got a little bit of diamond cutting there but it's uh, I don't know I think you could bend it if you tried hard enough here's this I don't know what it is oh they're little charms it's little cameras isn't that cute There's the backs. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of them. All in good shape. No metalware. Looks like they've never been used. Next item is a channel set CZ loop earring. This one's very pretty. It is Mark 925 right there. Let's see if I can bring that up. Sorry for the shadows. It's just hard to see that 925. And then there's the channel setting on these stones. They're all there. They're very beautiful. There's no wear or tarnish, you know, wear, no wear on this. So that's a very nice earring. I hope I find the match. We'll set it to the side. Next is a bamboo bangle. We'll go back down the screen here. And you've got some room in that, so a larger wrist could wear it. Now, I don't know about the hand. You know, some people have a wider hand in this area. Mine is pretty skinny. So, I can wear the smaller ones like this. That's a brass. With the chevron design. Very pretty, 
creamy colors. Fall colors. There's uh, blue in here. There's tan and there's red. But I don't see, think you're seeing the colors as well. They look more like a green, but they're definitely a blue in here. And there's a red and blue next to each other there. Pretty colors. Here's a necklace for Fiona. Her jewelry box or jar. Here's another one. So when she wakes up, I'll give those to her to put in her jewelry jar. Let's see. Here's a little articulated earring with green stones. So it looks like a chandelier design. Teardrops and ovals. Here's the back. Always like to show the backs if I remember. Here's a rubber band. <laughs> I have to show you what you get in the jar, so. Isn't he cute? A little robot pendant. Our little computer man. Here's the back. That's just too cute. It's even got rhinestone eyes. Here's a matching bracelet to the one I showed earlier. Here is. I'm not sure what this is. Well, I, I'm sure what it is. It was a bracelet. But it is all stretched out and it needs to be restrung. The copper's coming through on the inside. So it's probably a silver tone over cot, copper. And that's kind of what it would look like if it was together right. That's craft. We have a plain FSB. It looks like it might have done something here. It might have had a battery in here at one time and maybe it lit up. I don't know. Probably right here and here. That's craft. Here's a little like keychain, a ring chain to hold things together. strange place on my stomach and it's itching me like crazy. I don't know if something bit me or what, but it's about to drive me wild. Here is a lobster claw clasp necklace on a snake chain. Just trying to see if I can see any markings. It's got a pretty little pendant. Whoops. Wrong side, but there's the back. See how pretty it is on the back and how open it is? Now look at the front. Isn't that gorgeous? That is very pretty. I don't see any markings. Let me look at with my loop. I'm back at my dining room table and there's a shadow here, so I have to be careful when I'm showing. I don't see anything for marking. That's an awfully pretty necklace. That sounds weird, awfully pretty. And we could see if it's magnetic, if I knew where my magnet was, which I think it's right here. Nope. It's not magnetic. The 
pendant is, but the chain is not. So I will test that. That's for testing. Here's a little piece bracelet and a rainbow of colors. It's a fold over, so it's an older bracelet. Bring it up so y'all can see it a little better, the colors. It almost looks like that's abalone. Dyed abalone in here on some of it. But I can't guarantee it, it just looks it. And then it clasps together like that. Okay. Next is a little briefcase. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Something for Fiona to play with, I think. I think it comes, I feel like there's something inside there, so I'm trying to open it up. Ah, oh, there we go. And there he is, there's some beads. And there's a battery, I bet that was the battery of that airplane. I don't know, we'll just stick it in there, it fits. And these are glass. And this one looks more ceramic. So we'll put those with the in the bead jar. And we will give this to Fiona to play with. Cute. For her jewelry jar. Here is a hairy bracelet. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, and these stones, I'm thinking these are glass. Some of these are cold and some are not. I'm having, and I'm having trouble telling which ones are and which ones are not. These definitely feel cold. This one, I don't know. I think these big ones are not glass. These fasted ones I don't believe are glass and I think these solid ones like this are. So that's where I'm feeling the cool, the cold versus the not so cold. It's a pretty green color for fall. Here's a little pendant of dolphins. Bring y'all up a little closer. There's the back. It's in great shape. Here's a ring. It's an adjustable ring. It's got wear on it. There's a top that's like a faux druzy look. Look at that. Look at the gallery of that. Whoops. It's different. Next one is, I believe these are glass. It's a necklace with a lobster claw and an extender. With your bead on the end. It's a fine little chain. You have these little silver nuggets here. They're textured. And then you have these crystal 
checkerboard cut stones. That's uh, like a garnet, garnet and a citrine color there. There's your little silver nuggets again. Then you have like a garnet and citrine. Now let's see, let's compare these. Hmm. I guess this is, uh, this is like a purple garnet and this is more like the brownish red garnet color. And then you have another set of the little silver nuggets. And then you go back to the citrine and the garnet, more red, garnet red, purplish color. And then your final nugget piece. That's a pretty necklace, pretty long. Fold it over like that. Show it to you like that. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe pull these in a little bit. There we go. So you can see the. Let me go back out. So you can see it. Very pretty necklace. I'm trying to still determine if those are glass crystal or if they're lucite. Uh, not lucite, but acrylic or plastic or touch them to my cheek. It's hard when they've got the metal around the tail. Well, it's still cool to my cheek. Okay. Next one, some little string of beads, a little bracelet, tiny bracelet for Fiona's jewelry box or jewelry jar. Here's a pretty little earring. It's a clip back. Here's the back. Here's the front. Black enamel. Looks like either we, okay, that's gook. Yeah, that can come off, so they're in good shape. Gold toned black, clear crystal beads, round stones. Very pretty, very classic looking. Now, there's something on the floor, so let me see what it was. Oh, it was one of my earrings. And I should have used my magnet to get it. Oh, let me put these earrings. Put things to test out in this little thing. Okay. Got several bangles here together. They aren't tangled up with five million things. And here they all are. We've got a silver tone. Looks kind of brassy on the inside. A crawfish, I don't know. Very magnetic. Pretty large size. Yeah, these are these are smaller. This is larger. These are smaller okay these are your larger ones here this one's really nice I don't see any writing in it it's textured it's got a presence to the side here it's nice weight that's a nice one now compared to these, you don't have a lot of presence on the side, like on this one. And this braided one, twisted rope looking one, has a little owl on it. Oh, happy day. It's always a good luck piece when I get an owl, but look how big it is. So I won't be
be keeping it, but I sure do like that little owl. It's cute. Here's one that's diamond cut all the way around. Very nice one. Oh, it's, it's got something on the inside too. See if we can read what it says. Sarah Coventry. S. Does that mean small? Because it is pretty small. It fits me fine, but like I said, I have a pretty straight hand here for it to go over. It's a nice fit on that. That's about the right size for me. I have this little red enamel one. The enamel coating on this is pretty heavy, and it's in good shape. And then we have this very thin that would bend very easily, very dainty. I wonder if that's magnetic. Yes, it is. And then we have this silver tone. You see, it has a very thin presence on the side there. Just needs to be cleaned up. And then we have this one that's missing a stone here and here. And here and here. It's missing the bigger rhinestones. So I would use that for harvesting. And this one looks like it's cl um, closing A. And blue and green. Uh oh, I hear my granddaughter. She's kind of crying. I might have to go, guys. Yeah, that's not magnetic. So I'm going to test that one. I don't see any markings on it unless there's something there. Let's see. Nope. I just don't see any wear through it either. So I'm not sure. But we'll test that one because it's not magnetic. It's very pretty blue and green design it's in great shape too The next piece we have is an Omega piece. It's in very good shape. It's got a safety latch and that is the closure on this. Very good closure and good shape. That snaps well. Very pretty. There's a little magnetism in that, but it could be from what's on the inside. I don't know. 
I don't see any markings one way or the other it does need to be cleaned up it's a gold tone it's a very nice one I'll do this again oh let me see is that something in there No, I don't think so. Nope, I don't see anything. So I'm going to test it. It's beautiful. And here's some more things you'll find in a jewelry jar that have nothing to do with jewelry, but you're going to find it. Here is a tie tack. It had something on here, I'm sure, but it's off, maybe a pearl or something. Here's an earring. Yeah, I thought those needed to be moved. And it goes in like that. We've got these little wooden beads, so it's not heavy. This, this is a chain in here. This looks like fishnet stockings. Looks like there's a signature in there, but I don't know what it says or if that's just in there, the design. Just not real sure. Here's a stretchy ring, a little pyramid ring. You have gunmetal color and clear stones. None of them are missing. There's your side view. What it would look like on the hand. It's a little loose on me. Let me try this bigger finger. Want to flop around on my hand because this is a little big for me. Old, old skinny fingers. And then we have this pretty little bracelet. These are acrylic stuff, acrylic beads, very pretty and wooden beads. These are acrylic in here too. That's acrylic. It's a pinkish amber color. Very pretty colors. Well, oh, this may be a little bit better on a smaller wrist because it's, you know, good for a real small wrist. Those people that have very tiny wrists that have trouble finding bracelets that fit well. Oh, this is pretty. It's a braided. Um, it's got the metal beads and then the braided thread. And purple, and it looks purple and black and gold. Here's your tassel. It's got an extender with a real pretty little bead that complements the tassel. Finishes the bracelet nicely. It's very pretty. This is a very cool bracelet. Went too hard to put on. There's your tassel hanging. I think I 
could have even made it a little bit more tighter. Let's see. Let's tighten that up. Let me tighten that up some. Just give me a second. I don't have my bracelet, buddy. That would either be my husband or the, the little tool that's called a bracelet buddy. It helps you do these lobster claw. Let me give y'all something to look at while I'm doing this. Since my hands are all shaky tonight. There we go. Now it's a little tighter. I still like that. See how the bead that kind of complements the tassel. Very nice bracelet. I know the young people like these kind of bracelets. Or at least my granddaughter does. Okay, here's a little rhinestone bracelet. Very pretty. Look at the closure on this. Let's see how this works. Yep. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Does that fold over? Or am I being... No, that is. That does, I think. I just don't know. Well, maybe I don't know how it goes. I'm just not sure how that went. I have not a clue how this works. Oh, 